Well, hello everyone. This is your host, the Owl Hat. We just fucking ate Bloody Mary because we're a beast. Vivian was the ribbon girl, and this guy is definitely next. His hello, clothes hold baby. together remarkably you look well. Tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. Oh, please do it. Oh, silver this bullet. Hold six rounds of special. Oh, that's I one. Won't miss next time. You Before can't you possibly think I'm going to let you get away. A few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's the that's plan. Right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. Oh, I think you back are. Alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Why would the you want The whole town that? will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Uh... Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. No, there's a plenty of reasons. Coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. Aren't we fast no enough to take it from him? Oh yes, you fucking are. Those women. And I think you know that. You All gave the order. There's a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? An opportunist, a businessman. I'm a businessman oh, not a killer. You're so full There's of still shit, a lot bro. You have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. And then he's gonna go all, what would Fabletown be without point, the Crooked Man? But just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. Ah, uh, you up to something, buddy. You're not you're getting away either. You're reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Your head this case on a plate. I mean, do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? I'm doing this for Faith. Because she and Lily died. And someone is going to answer for that. Then why are you here? For you, no buddy. Them. Georgie. You you may as well have pulled the fucking trigger, you little He's dead, worm. Isn't he? His fault, My not mine. Being, the killer has been dealt with. If one. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's brighten hard. up? So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. I want to see what he does. Ooh, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. Alright, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think uh, I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. But what else do we do? Can what we do just say? kill him? Hey! Uh, so much for your gun. I'm, I'm sure throwing it out Ms. the White window. Be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she. Oh, want to just have you cough around. him. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and chose to spare the crooked will man. Follow. Was that the right decision, though? He's crooked. We could at least break his fucking arm. What I don't understand about Georgie dying from the gut wound is the woodsman got hit in the fucking dome piece with an axe, an enchanted axe. I know. I it know, went in his skull. We have to do something. Are you he fucking healed. kidding me? What is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. Oh, there's Prince Lawrence. I'm sure he'll want he's him back. dead. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Somebody's gonna kill him if we don't. <laughs> Fucking Gren's still okay? missing his arm. It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. Don't I look alright? I look fantastic. Yeah. Don't I look okay? I guess you've been worse. Recently. You that's did saying well, something. Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that... I'm alive? You know, I'm surprised too. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. Can't say the same for Bloody Mary. Couldn't help myself there. It's about time you showed up. Oh, fuck you. Throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting what do you for, have to you say murderer? For my you wife killed Lily she because was my where the fuck do you and get off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to people? You're a fucking crook. This. 
You should be ashamed. Shit hole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best we if we do this as soon as possible. We cannot possibly let him go. The crooked man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I you don't gave the order, to buddy. you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Uh, well, where, like where is, is it? Going. You're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Mm, he Georgie wasn't behind was a it. victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. Are you surprised? So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change this. anything. We'll yeah, deal there with you it go. Later, Please. But right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't. I would be allowed to speak. You spoke plenty, asshole. We have to asshole. read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. Then you can have your say. And then we Got throw it. you down the fucking well. If you insist. <clears throat> I'm glad Snow appreciates You that. are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding oh, and get providing the fuck out monetary of support for the forced prostitution at the pudding and pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And for being a condescending prick. How can I not add that? Well, what do you want from me? I'm a comedian. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did. Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's yeah. all the other Come on. crap he's done. He's responsible. I know you're responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning. So cut the shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've done. Just give it up already. The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get but on with it then! But we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly even when they don't deserve it. Oh, don't this I cuff him? Dude, no. Mm -mm. I guarantee you, you he's still got floor. something up his sleeve. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise oh, to Oh, shut the fuck mother. up, dying Are you going to get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This, this is fucking bullshit! Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood like, my intention. tell them about the really? ribbon. I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Not a fucking oh, chance. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. It you was a trap. Being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes. Got it's a true. bit carried away. Loyal to the end. You may find your employee rosters a little light. They protect me. As I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man. Just to save someone. I think you're done talking. What are you afraid of? Why not let an old man say his piece? Before we let throw him down the well, I just don't like him. My employees are just that. 
hired help. I can't believe he's going to get off with this. It's like you. watching Donald Trump they get elected. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. You're not serious. I know what you do to people. I've seen it firsthand. What you did to Faith. The way you manipulated her. Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. He's not, he got a point there. Kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. I knew he was going to do some shit like this. I knew yes, it. but wasn't I? You're the No, you're not turning problem. this on everyone not else. Not us. Really? Yes, really. What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Faith. Oh, he's get gonna glamorous. fucking get away with it. I don't because believe I this. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living. Provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. Maybe we should what? have destroyed it. You were gonna burn her tree? Snow. Why would Don't you try to fucking that? manipulate us, I buddy. I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Big Bay just This is important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can oh, lie shut to up, yourself, beast. but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane. And you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Despite yeah, that right. we've maybe I can't his promise arm off. you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. We didn't get you into this situation. He did. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better he life. You better fucking go down. You would man. go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly I his way, Faith and Lily? someone would die. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. And he'll say it was Georgie. They're right. You're all yes, still I afraid right. of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. Oh, I certainly and those hope. those girls will have their justice. Yeah, you're, you're fucked, buddy. Oh good, I was so worried he was going to weasel his fucking way out of it. Uh, good, I don't like this. Good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister. But I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? What about your what history? What about your history? All you've done to this fucking town! What do you mean there's no evidence? Oh, you can't maybe, seriously think maybe that. Maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. Oh, stop helping! I just of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him- Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time. Because you yes. told him to do yes. it! Of course! Yes, you're responsible. Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder. Oh, Since fuck. you know Bigby works for her. That's... He shot me. He killed a man. Now, don't make him a murderer, for fuck's sake. 
Killing someone who's trying to kill you is hardly- They were there to retrieve Crane. You didn't need to escalate things. Me! It was them! And who sent those two freaks anyway? With shotguns. Bigby and I have Aimed already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Now, where have I heard that before? Oh. God. How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? Uh, he so here is where everything stops. While under your watch. Under my watch. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be You're serious. You're the one on trial. You're the dude. one on trial here. Fuck, Don't he try is to turn this around it. on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. No, that's they not the end of the story. Oh, for this is so irritating. Bands. But they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. Is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know... The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to. Bluebeard, please. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason I mean, a certain we're level here. of privilege should be afforded to... Oh, oh don't help. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, we lashed our ropes to this loud. disease world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? And then buried Who you in was debt. There while they idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. God, Help this me. is so annoying. Who will pay your I knew this is exactly what he was going to do. Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the Big B? Miss White. Oh God! What now? Excuse me, I, dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wife? she doing here? She's helping. I'd like to. I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. Well, we know you she can talk now. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Yeah, sadly, that had to happen. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, I'm... Um, I know I'm, I'm going over time, Nerissa. but I gotta hear the rest of it. My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Oh, Faith and you're Lily caught are dead now. because of you! The only two people who ever gave a damn about me! Well, we care and at least a little. I can finally say... You're an asshole, and I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. Don't worry, he's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always oh, good him. winning the crowd. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so, ever. Yeah. You're going to take the word of a stupid. At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks oh like yeah. We found our evidence. She saw it. Ah, <sighs> that's nice. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So oh, I'm going to pause it here. I hate to do this right before the conclusion of the scene, but guys, we went a little bit over time. And anyway, if you enjoyed that, leave a like. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe. Please tell me what you thought in the comment section. And guys, once again, this is your host, the Owlhat, saying I will see you next time.